Hello everyone, it's Nicole Swart, your Executive Director here at Clark's Franklin Campus. And these are five things you need to know this week. Uh, number one, I'm very, very happy to share that as of about 2 o'clock today, Tuesday, we have all residents at Clark's Franklin Campus recovered from COVID. We presently, and I'm going to jinx myself here, but we presently have no residents with COVID on this campus. They've all recovered. I'm just very happy and very thankful for that. Our assisted living will go through a second round of testing this week as required with their weekly testing. Um, with two full weeks of no new positive cases for staff or residents, some of the things may change slightly, but that segues into my uh, number two update is the Kent County positivity rate. So with Kent County's positivity rate at over 15%, this keeps us in this high risk category, which is a level E still, um, that has no bearing on different counties right now because the entire state of Michigan is at a level E. So the, the way that it's rated, it goes from A to E, and E is being the highest level of uh, positivity rate of COVID, and that's where we're at right now. Since we're in an E, it doesn't have a significant bearing on what we might be able to do differently in those areas. Um, but when we get to a C or a D level, uh, which we hope um, it will it will change some things but this does allow the residents to um, not be able to have to quarantine and be able to to do a little bit more in, as far as some socially distant groups and such so we're very happy and very excited for that the number three thing i wanted to share with you this week is that we're pleased to welcome a new resident we have mr richard jasky moving into second floor terrace this week um, we're happy to have him, and I hope that you will make him uh, welcome here as he joins the Clark family. You'll hear more information on this and our new resident here um, soon, I'm sure, from the sales department. The fourth thing that I wanted to share is just an update on some of the renovations that we're doing. I heard from our operations team this morning that the games room is slated to be painted um, this week or early next. So this is part of a little bit more of a bigger remodel for that room because it will have the paint, the flooring, the lighting, and um, we're looking at some new tables and chairs in there too, as well as some built-ins that will make that room much more universal for different events that we want to have, um, hosting family gatherings when we're able to, and it will really allow us to diversify that space and give you, our wonderful residents, uh, more options to be able to gather in groups and to host your families for events or watch uh, sporting games or do, do a lot of fun things in there. So we're very happy to take that first step for that. The fifth thing I wanted to share um, is just an update on the Hey Nicole cards that I've been receiving. Very thankful for that and happy to answer your questions. One that I received last week, I think you'll all like, um, it was a resident asking, what am I going to do with magazines if I have them that are still current, but I don't just want to throw them away? And that's a really great question because I've heard that quite a few times now. Um, is there a way that we can, that we can share them and, and let other people use them too? So I talked with some of the team members and if you are somebody who has magazines that are still pretty current and in good shape, if you want to have them go to the, put them in the mail room, other residents can then take and utilize them and then put them back when they're done or recycle them if they're expired. So this will be a good way for us to share those subscriptions and that knowledge with our friends and neighbors here at Clark. And hopefully we can be a gift that keeps on giving for a lot of us. So I know this was probably a really quick update for you, but just wanted to pop in with five things you need to know this week. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.